Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update to the Metal Slug tank. Now this has actually gone together a lot quicker than I was expecting it to. And uh, as you can see, I've got the turret all assembled and painted, except for this one little bit here. And uh, I wanted to show you a trick that I use for certain parts like this. Now, in the instructions, all four of these caps are labeled differently, H1 through H4. But you can't really paint them while they're on the sprue. So what I did was I just added a little marker on the back side of it. So in this case, three dots. This is part number three. And, uh, also, I wanted to give kudos to Wave because if you look at this, and the fit and finish are really good. I just snapped these in, and it's not going anywhere. I did put glue on in a few little places to kind of extra secure things, but really not too bad at all. But now it's time to do some weathering on it, and I'm going to be using a couple different techniques I wanted to show off. Uh, first is using Tamiya's Weathering Master sets, and the other one is using some homemade chalks that I've made up. So we're going to start with the Tamiya Weathering set. And if you haven't used these, they do come with a little applicator there. But you can also purchase an entire bag of sponge applicators. Uh, I think this was just a couple bucks on Amazon. And works the same as what you get in the set. For it, all you got to do is get a little bit of the weathering material on the sponge. And just do a real light wipe across the surface. Matte finishes work a lot better with these. And, uh, just hit the edges of it real quick like this. And so now I'm going to go around, hit all the edges, and uh, just give it some highlighting.
Alright, so that got pretty much all of the highlighting that I want to do. So now I'm going to switch sets. I'm going to bring out their metallic set here. And I'm going to use the gunmetal here in the middle. And do the same thing right around the barrel. Just give it a light hit. Yeah, just like that. That one's looking pretty good now. So now it's time to switch over to the homemade stuff. I did a video about these a few years ago, but basically what it is is I'll buy chalks, charcoals, pastels, and graphite and uh, grind them up into this egg carton here. I use a couple of cheap brushes I bought at Target. They work great for applying this stuff. And uh, all I do is this one, got the graphite, and just dip it and swirl it around where I want it. And graphite gives a kind of dark metallic finish to things. So, so there you go. Looks like a bit of wear and soot all at the same time. And it blends really nicely, as you can see. Here at the other end, we've got some charcoal, and that's really useful for adding some shadows. And same thing, just dip it and brush it. In this case, I'm trying to create some somewhat exaggerated shadows. Hitting everywhere is on the underside of the turret here. At the other side, same way. And this also works really well for scorch effects, uh, exhaust, things like that. And you can see I've also got some different colors in the bin. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, the other colors work great for uh, dust, wider highlighting, things like that. And it also works really well for, in this case, I'm going to tone down the decal here on the side. Just knocks a little bit of the sheen off of that. And so now it's time to bring everything together. Here I've got the base of the tank. It's all painted and weathered up, just like I did with the turret here. And what's going to happen is these rods got to go in these center holes. These ones got to go in these outer holes here. And the center is keyed to go right in there. This up. There we go. So that's where it belongs. Now to get it down without trying to push on any of this delicate stuff up top, I get that pushed down right there. So use this small screwdriver, go right up the back here, and there you go. Again, just really nice fit and finish on this kit. That required almost no effort, but it's in there. It's very solid. It is an articulated turret. So let's just seat it down here. And uh, there we go. That is basically done. A couple extra details. You can see the headlights there on the front. I did that with this package I picked up a while back. I really like the way that those look for small lights. I was supposed to get a set for the taillights here, but they have not arrived yet. Uh, shipping is still going really slow to my part of the world. Got the exhausts done in rust. Did a lot of heavy weathering on the treads. The Gatling guns actually do rotate like they're supposed to. Nice little touch there. Now for the centers there, I painted those with a gold metallic sharpie, then hit those with graphite, just like I did for the tank barrel. And, uh, the rest of it is done just like I showed. So yeah, uh, very happy with this little kit. I'm actually really surprised at how well it went together. I kind of wish that more kits had fit and finish like this. 
little turnaround here. Uh, I said the sides of the turret are done with decals. I drew those up myself, just painted the triangles white. The back here is a piece of vinyl that I cut to the size and shape of what was in the kit, but this was matte. I do wish I had the tail lights because other than that, uh, I'm pretty much ready to call this one done. It might do a little extra weathering on it, but really, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. So, I will be starting on a new project next week, so you can check back then, and thanks for watching.